Ladies and gentlemen, Young Money Mint is getting in the ring. I'm not ever, ever. I'd absolutely get slapped by 95% of YouTubers, which is saying something. But like everyone, when YouTube boxing comes around, I'd turn into a professional. I have no idea about boxing, but today we are looking at all YouTube boxing knockouts and we're going to be rating them in four tiers. We have God damn. That is the best. God damn. We got slept, buddy. You're getting slept, buddy. That's like, you know, oh, you got slept. Like, that's nuts. We got, it is a knockout. Factual, it is a knockout. And we have, how's he gone down there? Those are for the, maybe I would stay up. Well, actually, no, we won't do that, because then there'll be none. Anyways, Misfits 006 uh, is today. If you're watching this the day it came out, it was yesterday. If you're watching it tomorrow, whatever. And we also have the Kingpin tournament. So there may be a bunch more that aren't in this. If you want to see a part two, if there's loads of knockouts, I'll do a part two. But uh, yeah, there you guys for watching. What? Money kicks the Ajmal Khan. Let's see this. Okay. Oh, big. There were some big haymakers, but I don't think any of them hit. What? Bro. Bro, what? I didn't even hit him, but he went down. What? What? Don't mess with my air. Has he even hit him? Okay, he does hit him a little bit there. That misses. And then he gets a... Nah, I'm sorry. I don't want to be that guy. Have we got a different angle? So here we go. First one clips him on that top of the head. Back of the head. That doesn't hit. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, no, no offense, and I know I'm, I'd get clotted by both of them. But uh, how's he gone down there? I don't understand that one. That one, that one. It. We ain't taking that. How's he gone down there? No, he's fine as well, man. He's chilling, but he ain't getting up. Jarvis v Michael Lee. Oh, that was a big hit from Jarvis. Oh, oh. The uppercuts. Oh! E, okay. It wasn't amazing. It is round two. Phase Rug calls it as well. He literally says there's a round two knockout. Boom! It is pretty good. It's either like a top of it is a knockout or bottom of Slept Buddy. Like, I know Michael Lee is still fine afterwards, but clean hit. We're going to put it here, Slept Buddy, just until we see the levels of everything else. Because you never know. They might stink. Although we do have Jake Paul v. Nate Robinson next. And oh my god, I think I know how good this is. Big hits. Bro, look at him. It's a nutty knockout. Round two. Look, big hit there misses a little bit, I think. That hits. Knocks him off balance. And then, boom. I mean, he is... He is literally slept, buddy. But I think it's a goddamn, you know. Look, I know it's Jake Paul, but I have to be real. It's a goddamn. When I see that, I'm thinking, goddamn. We're putting it there. They, they, they all might move down, but as it stands, I'm putting them there. I mean, look at that shot alone. Salt Pappy v. Josh Bruckner. Now, Josh Bruckner, by the way, big Don, handsome guy. Salt Pappy in round two. They're all round two, you know. I might have to start putting some bets on round twos. He is a big guy, but Salt Pappy was toying with him. Oh, it's so clean. This is the issue. He hasn't like put him out like Jake did. It is good though, isn't it? Oh, it's so good. See, I want to watch his feet. I'm not going to say that into account. I was thinking low key, like he's, he's got his foot like that and he does kind of sweep on the knee, but no, no. Oh, look, if you know boxing, I'm sorry for my opinions because they are awful, but that to me better than Jarvis. Oh, no. They're both still slept. KSI v. Phage Temper. This, the little bounce. Whoop. And then... Oh, no. This, this one. He bounces. And then... Fake. Right. Boom. Clean. Clean. And he... And he is... The fact he tries to get up and he's done. Bro, it is so... It's, he lines it up as well. Oh, it's the first shot. The first shot's like good. And then the second one is nuts. I'm going to be biased. Fuck it. I think that, personally, was a goddamn. I'm not being over biased. Jake Paul one was better. The Jake Paul one had Nate Robinson. Like, Nate Robinson didn't take a nap. He took a sleep. Phase temper the overt flow. This is round one as well. Straight right in it. No. Oh, it's a straight left. It's clean. It's clean. The camera angle changing is a little bit annoying. 
<laughs> but it is good. I love it. I actually love that one. Do I think it was better than Salt Pappy's? I don't think so. I'm going to put it there. I think it's better than Jarvis's. I'm going to put Jarvis's down to this. I'm going to go with that. I, I am waffling, by the way. So if you guys are saying anything in terms of, you know, this Salt Pappy one might be better than JJ's. I don't know. This is just my opinion. King Kenny v DK Money. Little jab. I'll say it again, by the way. I think Kenny looks, not is, just to watch. If I had to watch someone just, you know, shadow box once, I'd say Kenny is the best. He just looks like a, a mad boxer. Here we go, look, a jab. Oh, like, oh it's clean, isn't it? We'll throw those two back to back. It's a white, it's a good shot, and then one straight, and he's down. Oh, where am I putting that? Where am I putting that? Is it better than Salt Pappies? Salt Pappies just seems mad. It didn't seem as clean as this. I'm going to put it here for now. I think I prefer tempers. Oh, this is hard. This is hard, because there's so many factors. Like, you can take, you know, opponent into effect. You can take how late it is. For example, do I take into account the fact that we all thought JMX was going to bully him, and then it was actually a lot closer than we thought? JMX. He gets a great hit there. Then a great hit. Yeah. Shout out Ginty, though. Although his last fight was boring. It just seems sluggish and like... I don't... You know what? I don't care. This is my... This is my tier list. I'm putting it there. It is a knockout. And Nathan Gibb! V Austin McBroom, which, by the way, happened in this Saturday again. I'm trying to remember what this was. Gibb. Big left hook. Listening to the commentators. Oh! I don't know if it's because it's Gib and the occasion and everything, but it's so underneath and then just one overhand right. Ah, oh. oh, I love it though. Do I think it's better than Kenny's? Do I think it's better than JMX's? It is a clean hit. All three of these are just like, these two are one hit. This is two hits. This is like three hits. Maybe I should be putting them the other way around. I'm gonna put it there. The thing is the fight is so good and it did make me say, God damn. Just because the fact that Gib went down so quick. And then came back and the whole event, I'm putting it there. Ah, oh, it was good. KSI v Swarms. Swarms is running, but there's nowhere to hide. Let's see it. Let's see it. And there it is. But he's okay. He's still winning. I mean, he's completely fine, isn't he? He was completely fine. It's a decent shot. Like, he's running, but... And there it is. I mean, it is a good shot. And Swarms does go down. Do I think it's a how does he go down? I don't think I can put it. How's he gone down? I think it's... It's not in the same league as the Jarvis one, though. Ah, we'll put it there. It's okay. I'm not mad. Salt Pappy v. Andy Worski. Expect a lot of showboating from Salt Pappy. Salt Pappy has some of the best odds. So clean. And I know, again, that's like four hits. Bro, let me see that again. Right, what we got? We got a left, right. Ah, oh, it's nuts. It is nuts. Am I overdoing this Josh Bruckner one? I'm, I'm putting it there. Ah, oh, I am so I am so wrong with all of this. I know that everyone's going to go, How did you put this there? Well, I'm sorry. This is just what, from recollecting it now. Slim V temper. Oh. Oh, it's a great hit. It's a slip, buddy. Fair enough to Slim. I love temper, but Slim... V temper. It's not as good as this one. I'm gonna put Slim V temper there. I know this makes no sense because sometimes, for example, these two had more hits. JMX V Ginty had more hits, but I'm just not feeling it. Like, I'm not looking at it going like, oh shit, oh shit, he moving fast, he doing this. The JMX Ginty one felt a bit slower. I know it was later in the fight, but that's part of it. KSI V Pineda, the goat. Bro, he looks so like, he looks like a lost little boy there. It is a great hit from JJ, and he's pulled the fight off. You know what? It's going, how's he gone down there? Admittedly, Pineda, like, he, he got uppercutted. He could have gone down, but I don't know. But it did create one of the greatest comeback stories of all time with Pineda the GOAT. Ed Matthews v. Simple Simon. Like, it's just not... More of a push, that one. The other hit, the others were hits, but the actual knockdown, uh, nah, it's it's like KSI Swarms level. I don't know if it's better or worse. He gets a good hit there, a good hit there, another hit, another hit, and then you are fighting a 50-year-old man. You know what, I'm putting it there. It was too scrappy. Jake Paul v. Tyrone Woodley. Oh, God. This you hear. And it's Tyrone Woodley. It's nuts. The Nate Robinson one was nuts, but the Tyron Woodley, bro, mad thing. It's a mad thing. Final one, slim. Okay, let's see the slim. Oh, 
That one shouldn't. Slim is wild at this point. Okay, decent hit. Oh! It's good. That was good. That was good. It's better than these. I think it's better than Jarvis's. I'm going with that. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is terrible. I've just gone with what I remember, what I've just seen, and I'm going with that. I'm going with that. Screw it. Let me know what was I stupidly wrong about. All the boxing experts out there, because everyone is one. Which one should be much higher, or which one am I gassing up too much? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, leave a like, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the boxing this weekend. Peace.